Hello again. I'm sure that many viewers will remember when global warming was a catchphrase which was heard all the time. It meant that summers would be long and hot while winters would be mild in Britain. In those days, 20 or 25 years ago, we were told that Britain was headed towards the sort of climate that one sees in Italy and Greece. It was going to be pretty arid, and so we might think about doing away with our lawns. There were all kinds of suggestions that our gardens ought to be planted with drought-tolerant shrubs and olive trees, and that it might be no bad idea to replace grass with patches of gravel in which we could grow subtropical plants. Anybody remember all these uh, bits of advice we were given? Some idiots actually <laughs> acted upon this advice, and a number of um, councils dug up the grass on roundabouts, you know, the grass and the flower beds, and replaced them with fine gravel and tropical shrubs. Wherever this was done, whether in private gardens or council property, the result is awful. The British climate has caused the gravel to become slimy and green, and of course weeds have sprung up all over such patches. It seems that global warming will not be coming to this country for a little while yet, after all. Although we are regularly told that this or that year has been the hottest on record, most summers here are, as usual, overcast and not especially sunny. In short, unless we were frequently reminded of what is supposedly happening, most of us would never have guessed that the climate really was changing, which, when you come to think about it, is a bit odd. Instead of those scorching hot long summers and mild winters that we were promised, we have instead what we have so often had in this country, that is to say wind, rain and so on. Oh, and icy conditions sometimes in winter. It seems that all these things too are manifestations of climate change. In fact, any kind of weather, even the most mundane and unremarkable, becomes a sign of climate change. This is, of course, why climate change has replaced global warming. Meteorologists would feel pretty silly if they told you that floods in January were caused by global warming you might perhaps give them an odd look. When they say, though, that it's climate change, that sounds a lot more plausible. The same goes for snow and ice in winter, which we have seen routinely in this country since the end of the last ice age 10,000 years ago. Try telling people that global warming is making the roads icy and you really will sound like a loony. If instead you talk about the jet stream and how it's being forced north by climate change, which is precipitating icy weather, then it kind of makes sense this would bring snow in the winter. Windy weather in autumn? That's climate change too. All in all, it's easy to see why you won't hear many experts speaking these days about global warming for fear that it might damage their credibility.